I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay. Sir, okay now you now take my picture, now then. Now I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not gonna be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys wanna know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You wanna know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging. We're not criminals! They're gonna Just make me up. sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Please. Sir, please. Oh Come my on, God, man. don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what think. you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you Ma'am, stay right here. Ma oh, Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma 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 no, you can't, you can't go You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Edmonds, Washington, where we find one of my all-time favorite frauditors, Glenda. That's right, Glenn Serio, as he harasses, berates, belittles, provokes, and does everything under the sun to upset these police officers. But we all know it never works. Yeah, he's going to sue them. He's going to get them fired. He's going to do everything. Yeah, right. The only thing Glenn's going to do is go back to the men's shelter and get his free cup of soup for the night. I'll bet he's losing weight because he's not eating Taco Bell anymore. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. Especially you, Glenda. Are you recording me? What's that? Are you recording me? I am. Very good. What's your name? Why do you want to know? Because you're being detained. You're not free to leave. For what? You're not for theft. The people up here say for this. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to tell you that... You're illegally detaining me, and you're going to get sued. Okay, that's fine. Why don't you sit down and buckle down? I'm not going to sit anywhere. Get your sergeant here. Okay, he's on his way. Okay. Okay, why don't you sit on the bumper? I will please. not sit on the bumper. Okay. What's your name? Listen, you've made the biggest mistake of your life. Okay. You have no idea who you're talking to. You've approached who the worst. I'm not going to tell you, but okay. you've made the biggest mistake of your life. And you are going to lose your job. Okay. If you if you could have picked out one of a million people, you have you've won the lottery. Okay. I'm not kidding. You've won the lottery. Okay. That's an interesting way to phrase it, Glenn. He's won the lottery of what? Slobs. Yes. If he couldn't have, if he could have picked one out of a million people, the worst slob ever, it would have been you. Uh, when Glenn was in this restroom, he ran the water for about two seconds, and that's no joke. I have that video posted, no doubt. He ran the water for two seconds to wash his hands after using the restroom. Nasty bastard. So, you are going to find out the hardest way you know, okay. and you're going to lose your job, okay. and you're going to be invested can by I, the FBI. Okay, can I just ask you a couple questions? No, you can't. Okay, were you up, just up at the Safeway right now? I'm not answering any questions. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> All right, so we're just going to hang tight for my sergeant to get in here. Okay, and then we'll figure out what's going on. We can do whatever you want to do, but I'm telling you, 
I, I'm detained. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be arrested for, for nothing. This cop pulled over, pulled me over for nothing. Oh man, if you could have won the lottery, you've won the lottery. Okay. You have won the fucking lottery. Okay, very good. <laughs> So we're just gonna hang out then, wait for uh, wait for my sergeant to come up, and then uh, we'll figure out what's going on at the Safeway. Sound good? No, doesn't sound good. Well, why not? Sounds like you're an idiot. Well, if that's not the pot killing the kettle black, I don't know what would be. Yeah, Glenn can't help it. He's a babbling, blubbering buffoon of a bird brain. And he's only got one thing on his mind, officer. He wants to annoy you. He's going to take your qualified immunity. He's going to get you fired. Yeah, he's going to sue you for everything you have. Not to worry. He doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. But let's continue. You wanted my sergeant to come here. And then after that, I'll ask for the lieutenant. And then after okay. that, I'll ask for the captain. And then after that, I'll call Washington State Patrol. And then after okay. that, I'll call the FBI. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now you're gonna you're, you're gonna look you're gonna look like a fool in front of your sergeant. Okay. He probably won't even he probably take one look at me and tell you to leave. That's probably what's gonna happen. So. Where's your body cam? I don't have one. You're my body cam. Yeah. Don't have a port. How many units do I have coming my way? So I guess those four days in jail didn't do Glenn any good. Matter of fact, he probably sat there and thought how he could get even with the police for putting him in jail. I wonder if he lost any weight while he was in jail. Yeah, because they don't serve Taco Bell in there, do they, sweetheart? Oh, by the way, Glenn, feel free to file a copyright strike on this video if you think you can do it, my man. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. Okay. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Where is your sweatshirt? What sweatshirt? And your beanie hat that you had on. My sweatshirt and my beanie hat? Yeah. Um, be more specific, what did it look like? You had a gray sweatshirt and a white beanie hat. Did I? You know false detain detainment's a crime in Washington State? Do you know that you can, you I'm are- very, you I'm very aware of the laws in Washington Okay, State. well, you, you'll be very aware of the FBI because the FBI investigates Edmonds PD all the time. Okay. So. All right. Where's your sweatshirt? Which one? Your gray Seahawks sweatshirt. Gray sweet Seahawks? You think I'm a Seahawks fan? Yeah, I do. You think I like the Seahawks? You were wearing a uh, Seahawks sweatshirt. Was I? Yeah. And you have me on camera, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go review that camera. No, I think you're going to find out the hard way. Now, Glenda was on everybody's radar about a year ago. But then all of a sudden, he stopped uploading because he was afraid he was going to go to jail. And his attorney recommended he not upload any more videos. So he's been on a hiatus for a long time. But I guarantee you, he's still on those watch lists. Oh, throughout the entire state of Washington. And <laughs> maybe in Oregon, too. Why is that? You're making the biggest mistake of your life, and you've already been told this a million times. You have no idea who you're talking to. Who am I talking to? You have no idea who what's about to happen to you. Who am I talking you have no idea the amount of people that are going to come to that police station who and surround that police station. Who am I talking to? So don't touch me. Hey, Glenn. Let's tell him who I am. Let's tell this guy who I am. Let's inform this guy who I am. Hey, Glenn. So I know who you are. Okay. okay? Yeah. So right now you're just being detained because you met this description of a suspect. Uh, okay. And how do you know me? Okay. How do you know me? Apparently he 
he's talked to before. Apparently, you've made the biggest mistake of your life, okay. and this guy, he rec he's, he's already acknowledging that. Okay. Allow me to clarify what Glenda is referring to when he says the cop has made the biggest mistake of his life. What Glenn really means to say is that the cop has not encountered someone of this enormous size before. I think Glenn's going to have to hit the scales close to 400, man. He's got to be. What do you think? 400? Woo wee, that is a big stomach. Hmm, I don't even think the pregnant women get a stomach like that, Glenn. How do you know me? That's not the suspect. Yeah. How do you know me? Hey, Glenn. Yeah. I came over to the store, okay? Yeah. I saw uh -huh. I got a picture. Yeah. Okay, so the picture, uh -huh. the person was wearing white clothing. Oh, yeah? Exactly what you're wearing right now. Yeah. How, how would you think? Where did you used to work? White male. Well, it doesn't matter what. Where did you used, you used to work? Listen, Glenn. Listen. Did you work for Honeywell? Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you? And then what happened? Yeah, you did. You cried like a little bitch to HR. Because of what? You cried like a little bitch to HR. Okay. It's what you did. Okay. And then. I'm a little Vietnamese guy from Vietnam, and okay. he's attacking me. He's making fun of me. Oh yeah, you're a crybaby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, so okay. now you're gonna get reported. Okay. All right, that's fine. Oh yeah. Four two five seven seven one. Where's the sergeant? Where's the sergeant? Four two five seven seven one. Where's the sergeant? You fucking retard. You fucking retard. We're done. Yeah. On your way, bitch. On your way, bitch. So someone was at the store shoplifting, dressed in the same clothing that Big Boy is wearing here. Hmm. Well, all he had to do was show identification and cooperate. It would have been over a long time ago. But Glenn hates the cops. And this goes back to when he was about 15 years old. Yeah, he'll tell you that himself. He said that on one of his videos, and you can look at his arrest report. Yeah, Glenn doesn't like the cops at all. Look at that face, though. Hoo-hoo-wee! You are dismissed, bitch! Yeah, I was badly injured. Uh, one of your officers pulled in here, almost hit me with his vehicle, accused me of robbery one with deadly weapon, said I was wearing a gray Seahawks shirt, uh, wear the a beanie, okay. accused me of uh, robbery. When he pulled in, he pulled, he went on the curb and I had to almost maneuver out of the way. And I ended up twisting my leg, my lower back. So uh, I'm feeling a lot of pain. Right now I'm not able to walk. You're not able to walk because you're a fat basher who's grossly overweight. Who the hell comes out of the house dressed like that anyway? Man, that's disgusting. Put that stuff away. I won't be able to sleep at night. I need an aid car. Okay. So. Did you get the officer's name? I, I couldn't get his name. His two initials in his name, I can't remember. Okay, yeah. And then, um... And then Win, Win, and then Win knows me because we worked at aerospace together, and he was under me, and uh, he he did confirm that on the video that he knows me and we had a past, so there's a um, there's a past history there where he he made some false claims to the corporation, and uh, so he he did lie, and he wrote a letter to corporate, um, so I'll be reporting him too. Misui, he kind of just walked away. He didn't do nothing. He kind of knew what was happening. He knew I wasn't the suspect. Um, what, what, what are you saying that that officer Win did? Sorry, what? What did Officer Win do? Win, Win and me have a history okay. at another company. Yeah, Glennon had a decent job at Honeywell, but he was fired. I don't know why he was fired, but he was definitely fired. It's the only job I know that he's had. He may have had some jobs when he was younger, but uh, he hasn't had a job since he was fired from Honeywell. Collected uh, food stamps and welfare for a while. When that ran out, he started to fraud it. And that's what he's still doing, frauding, because that's all he can do. Before he became... 
What about today? What are you reporting today? So I'm reporting his demeanor, his aggression, and he, he lied on the camera about our past. Like he said, you know, he... What did, what did he say? He was... He made some false claims to the corporation saying that um, I talked about his heritage, his Vietnamese heritage, um, said I'm a racist, uh, made a lot of claims to HR. Um, not not a very credible person, not someone to swear an oath to a constitution. Um, the lies he made and the stuff he did was real, real. Uh... Did, he, did he do anything? Did he tell you, did he say anything to you today? Yeah, he got belligerent. He did tell the other officer that I'm not the suspect, but he got real belligerent and kind of like um, was yelling and kind of like he wasn't happy. He wasn't, you know. Linda, you're a real piece of shit. I've documented well beyond the shadow of any doubt your racist, misogynistic, homophobic rants against people, mostly police officers, for absolutely no reason. You deserved a lot more than those five days in jail, and then he only served four for good behavior. Yeah, right four days in jail that's nothing you need about four years in jail to straighten your ass out which leg is it that's my left leg, left leg? Okay. moments later hello, hello. How's it going? not too good uh one of the officers almost collided with me and almost hit me with his patrol vehicle and I almost stumbled and hurt my I stumbled and I hurt my leg and my lower back and I, I can't I'm having trouble walking okay. where, where are we at when it happened right there right where that pole is he pulled onto the sidewalk I thought he was gonna run me over um, he accused me of robbery one with deadly weapon what would you like us I need to go to the you? hospital what? I need to get go to the hospital and get uh, right, let's go. I I can't walk We can grab our bed and bring it over, okay? Okay. How'd you walk over to here? I limped. I've been limping. I can limp, but it hurts. Yeah, can you limp? Uh, let's, let's limp over here. I don't really want to um, hurt it any more than it is. Okay. I don't want to do any more damage than what's... Uh, Go, Glenn. Glenn sees dollar signs in his future, doesn't he? Oh, Glenn, you think you're going to get rich on the cops, huh? I wonder if there was a dash cam in that police car that would show what happened. Or maybe a camera mounted on one of those businesses where you were because that's just going to shoot your whole story to shit, man. But uh, hey, good luck anyway. How's it going? Good. So, hey, uh, I didn't explain to my partner, but what, what happened with the, with the officer? Um, so I was walking southbound on 99. Southbound and, on 99. Okay. Yeah, and he, and he literally this side, this side or that side? This side, right okay, here. Gotcha. And uh, he he literally like flipped the U-turn and got right where that white truck is. Okay. And almost hit me with his vehicle. He got out and said, uh, "You're a suspect for robbery one with deadly weapon. You're wearing a green gray Seahawks sweatshirt." So that's you, or were yeah. you talking to somebody else? Me. Oh. He accused me of robbery one at a store. Okay. I told him you got the wrong guys. It's the worst day of your life. You don't. You've won the lottery. You don't know who I am. And uh, he, he wouldn't back off, and he was holding his gun. He, he wanted me to put my hands on the on the hood of his car. He wanted me to sit on his bumper. I refused. Okay. He wanted me to identify myself. I refused. Okay. He said I'm being detained. Okay. Was there another guy that he was with? I thought he was on a shoplift call. Uh, he said something about robbery. He said I was wearing a gray Seahawks sweatshirt. Now, Glenda's pretty stupid, as is evidenced by this picture, but I don't think he would rob anybody because he can't move quickly enough to get into the getaway car. What the hell's wrong with his ears, anyway? Yeah, he's just a bloody mess, isn't he? Can, can you see your hips this way a little bit? This way? No, to, the, to your right, towards the top. Scoot your hips all the way. There you go. There you go. Kick your feet up. <clears throat> This? I am. Right, is there a reason? Uh, you know, I was threatened by an officer, and I'm going to take him to court. I'm right. going to sue him. So. I'm not recording you. It's more the officers. All right. So once they're gone, you're stopping recording. Exactly. All
10 6 9 You got it. And you have middle name? I doubt. Do you want your arm out? One end or two ends in blend? Two. The idiot was too stupid to take his own birth date out, so I did it for him. Look at these feet! Look at those massive feet! He can't even tie his shoelaces! Oh man, well he can't tie his shoelaces and he can't pull up his pants either. That's just nasty, man. Oh, those poor people at the hospital. Don't you feel sorry for them? Okay, it's coming up, right? Well, there you have it, folks. All we need is some dash cam video or possibly video from one of those stores or maybe even Glenn's own video be subpoenaed by the DA so he can see exactly what happened. At any rate, he won't be getting one single dime. No, you're still going to be broke, Glenn. Have to eat soup at the men's shelter. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Glenda. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that, and feel free to file a copyright strike too, Glenn. <laughs> oh, you assaulted me. I did. Sue me. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Kate. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Oh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, really? No reason I'm really, to have I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing yeah, in a minute. Yeah, on public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permission? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla handula, alu akbar, haknui kanda kra, ula wala fufatai.